Five more points from Gryffindor for being an insufferable know-it-all. Ron said loudly, She asked us a question and she knows the answer. No one asked your opinion. You filthy mudblood. Who will go here She'll pay for that one, Malfoy. She was looking at me Harry for snapped at Hermione. When she found Don't look at so me like that. Tame. Don't you start on her, snarled Ron. On that it was amazing, said Hermione. I took the six down to spring. Amazing! And I was writing something amazing. Like that I never Brilliant. learned to sing. Hermione's right. I think that it was this song. You only Just agreed to try and get back in her good books. And I remember crossing out the line. Oh, it's the time to say Well, it follows fair. All's fair in love and war. In love and war. Said Ron brightly. Then I don't know what we are fighting for. And this for. is a bit of both. Because my baby, she's a <laughs> real peach. You're honestly the most wonderful person I've ever met. I love you, Hermione. There was such tenderness in her expression that Harry felt almost as if he had surprised her in the act of kissing. They are together now? Uh, sort of. Neither Ron nor Hermione spoke. But Harry felt sure that they were looking at each other behind his back, communicating silently. We're in the field beyond the rising wrong, and the fallacy of form. A man who covered Ron's hand with hers and squeezed it. I have to say that all is fair in love and war. Well, if all is fair in love and war, how long do you think you'll stay mad at me? Then I don't know. Keep talking about that little war and like touching your heart. To fight no come more. Round. Let's go Running at Ron, she flung them around the his door. neck, my kissed him full on the mouth. Next time there's a war, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. Really come and dance. And the Ron was half sobbing as he pounded the walls with his fists. Because my baby, she's a real touch her. Oh. Oh, God. And the night come crashing down. Oh, God. Ron bellowed. He started to writhe and struggle against the ropes tying them together. Just stay away from them. All right. Come on, Nick. You're all right. Ron, he saw, was now holding Hermione. And stroking her hair while she sobbed into his shoulder. Her arm curved to the floor, her fingers inches from Ron. Harry wondered whether they had fallen asleep holding hands.